Okay, everyone, thanks for coming by. A good morning, a good evening, a good afternoon. We're in the process of um, checking out a really interesting uh, photograph here of a beautiful scene on a uh, harbor. Um, coastal scene, beautiful sailboats, a, a lighthouse um, attached to a um, building structure. Um, it's just a really, it feels like a nice middle of the afternoon kind of feel to it. Bright sun. Um, really nice to just look at this uh, photograph. It's, it's gorgeous. Um, this is in uh, Rockland, Maine, uh, in the USA. Uh, gorgeous region of the United States the east, uh, eastern seaboard. So we're going to um, do some contour drawing and then some painting and we're going to accomplish this uh, scene working from this photograph. And the thing we're going to emphasize here again is um, uh, working quickly um, getting things done you know rapidly and not really wasting a lot of time just trying to get our our techniques that we use every day all the time with watercolor we're gonna we're gonna use them here we're gonna make sure we get the values correct the tonal values so looking at this scene here we can see that we have um, some really really dark darks all through here um, so this is the closer jetty that goes out to this uh, lighthouse in the lighthouse structure you can see that's very very dark we're looking into the bright light so the sun is probably high in the sky but not quite noon time or it could be a little bit past mid-afternoon and we're, we're looking into this uh, but we are looking into the sunlight here because it's behind this building and behind this jetty and behind these sailboats um, So we'll look, we'll notice the tonal values, mediums. So these are medium tonal values here, here, here on this wall, up on the top of this roof, on this sail, these distant uh, hills. Again, the darkest tonus, tonal values are here along this uh, jetty going out to the lighthouse and some of these areas in the lighthouse and these bottom portions of the uh, sailboats. And... Um, and then your lighter, lighter tone of values, obviously, are this is the sky, and these sails, these parts of the sails here, these are medium, medium tonal values really. But there, if you squint your eyes and look at it, these are pretty light. This one, this sail here, is pretty light. And then the water is uh, getting close to the to the same tonal value as the sky, but just a little touch darker. So. It's key to um, look at your tonal values first. It also helps if you want. You can always um, create a, a tonal value sketch. And We're using some office paper here, but basically a tonal value sketch is really just looking at the scene and you can take the scene and kind of say to yourself, okay, the, the distant hills are a medium, the, uh, the stones and the rocks around the um, lighthouse are darker. You can, you can sort of work out your tonal values with a pencil first. So you know that's going to be the dark areas there. The front of the sailboat is darker. This is lighter. It's a little darker. The sky, the sky is very light. 
The water is a little darker than the sky. So we can kind of work out our tonal values first. And that really is a help. And we can set this across from us as well as the picture. And then we'll keep a track when we're working on how dark these different areas need to be and how light they need to be as we go. Because that's an important part of the capturing this, this feel of this scene here. All right, so we'll put this across from us. Across on the uh, the art table here, and we'll we'll make a sketch first, a contour drawing. I'll make sure I get my uh, points here. Right now I'm looking at the scene and I'm going to start my contour drawing here and it's about a quarter of the way where we start to see the land so I take my my uh, rectangle and I say this is halfway point approximately this is a quarter of the way and a, another and that's three quarters of the way to the top so here we have the um, land and I, I Decided to uh, trim the photo down as you could see when I, we first started So I kind of just I wanted just to have the two sailboats there um, So you can you can also also crop things out of your photograph Or if you're in a scene uh, Looking at a scene outside if you're painting outdoors you can you can change things around a little bit from what you see uh, You're the artist you you can decide on what you want to keep in the painting or what you might want to admit just to make uh, your painting more pleasant and positive and pleasing. Now we start to see the building. So here I'm carefully drawing the lighthouse. And as always, uh, we're contour drawing. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're trying to get a good rendering. Okay, I'm careful to look that this is the distant shoreline and then now here this um, jetty that goes around the lighthouse is is lower. It's about halfway on the bow of the sailboat here. Now this here you can, 
if you had to break out a ruler, if you sometimes have a challenging time keeping straight lines, once in a while using a ruler doesn't, you know, that's okay. You could also, if you didn't want to use the ruler, but you wanted to get keep it more accurate, the line straight, you just measure wherever you find that you're going to start this line here with the sailboat, because we can see that in the photograph, the, the bottom of the jetty and foundation of the lighthouse is halfway on this bow of the sailboat. Then we just measure approximately uh, inch and a quarter, approximately inch and a quarter down to the bottom of the page. And then we could just go here and do inch and a quarter, inch and a quarter, inch and a quarter. And then we can go across and then just make sure we're, we're, we're going towards those lines. And so you could put a couple dots here and there. When you're doing drawings, you can do that. You can, you know, use a measuring tool, like a, a ruler or a tape measure, whatever. And, um, or you can just scale it and just take your pencil and say, all right, that's the um, height of the water above the bottom of the page of our rectangle. And then just go across and then make a mark there. And then go there and then put a dot. And then go back and do the same thing and move it across there. So you can use different measuring techniques if you want. Um, if, you, if you find that you have a, if it's a difficult time getting a straight line going across the page, you can do it that way. And then we're going to keep uh, going along in our contour drawing. And there's some interesting things here. And then now we're about getting close to where the other sailboat is. So we're... Now I'm going to look in the picture across from me at the photograph and I'm going to just notice how much higher the sailboat here is than this sailboat. And I can see it's about so if I just did a rough going across the page here that's the other sailboat across the way over there and this one is a, a bit higher, <clears throat> so I will do that. This is just about here and like that. And it's always um, kind of interesting when you're looking at a photograph and working from that or even if you're out in the, obviously if these bolts are moving and you're out painting on uh, on location it's a little different to capture small details but here we can see in this picture there's a little couple spots behind the sailboat here where the water is lit up and you can see that water kind of lit up behind the sailboat and that's a good way to kind of make the um, picture the painting a little more three-dimensional if you can capture some of those little small bits of light behind this sailboat as well as this one here you can see it a little bit so if you can capture those little bits of light behind this uh, sailboats, that'll make this more three-dimensional, the, the look of the painting. So we'll make sure we capture that. This will probably be a two-part um, uh, video because this is, you know, there's quite a bit of detail here and we're, we're taking our time. We're, we're taking our time doing this. So we're doing our contour drawing very carefully. So we have things uh, pretty pretty well uh, set now. We have the um, we have uh, the distant hills we still have to
and then I think over here all right so over here we went a little bit high maybe with the other hills so this is the base of the shoreline of the jetty and the jetty's like that and then behind that is the mountains okay so that's good there all right so this is the contour drawing we we can do a little bit more detail maybe on the um lighthouse So I'll add just a few a few details, a couple windows. Here looks like a window underneath where the light is showing through. So I want to make sure we leave that light showing through that window because that gives us a little bit of uh, three-dimensionality here. And also there's some light here on the distant hills and over here as well. So I'm just going to put those in to remind me to try to capture those a little. I'm trying to make sure my sailboat is looking correct. I guess I'll extend this stern back a little bit there. And we're not going to get much more detail than that. That's pretty good. Here I'll just put some some uh, a little bit of sketch lines to note to just let myself know that's the dark dark areas and that's good all right so we have this all set and we'll come back and we'll do part two we'll do the painting so here in part one, again, we just did our contour drawing of our scene here on the coast of Maine. And we took our photograph and we made sure we, when we started out, we decided if there was anything we wanted to change around. So we did decide to change around a little bit, a few things. So we just made our painting, our photograph a little smaller and kind of zoomed in a little more on this section of the of the photograph and and then we contour draw this and uh, and now we'll be ready to paint so let's do part two we'll paint and get into um, the uh, mixing of colors and the washes on this gorgeous coastal scene <laughs> 